Tom. Hello, everybody! Tom Fox here. Welcome back to more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. In the last episode, we went to the Manon Courts to help a uh, an old friend of uh, of uh, Jolie's here. Human, I wish to speak to you if you have the time. Hello, Niklos. Greetings, human. My name is N uh, Nilko Boas. Hope you enjoy yourself here in Auto City. Flowing city is beautiful, is it not? You're a lot more friendly than most of the Selkath here. I'm afraid you speak the truth, human. My people are suspicious of outsiders. They fear the destruction of our beautiful planet. The beauty of Manon is delicate. Our ecosystem is complex and fragile. And I fear the preservation of my planet. Or for the preservation. What are you talking about? There was a task I would ask, human. Jedi. I fear there is nowhere else I can turn. What do you want me to do? Rest assured, there will be ample reward for this human. I, I only require information, nothing more. The Republic has been hiring mercenaries, many more than usual. As an official of the Selkath people, this is of great concern to me. I only seek the reason for this change in Republic policy. Uh, why do you need me for this? I cannot trust anyone else. The Republic obviously does wants to keep their secret. I've inquired often as to their purpose and, uh, as, and been rebuffed. The Sith cannot be trusted to give me an accurate report of events. They all twist the truth so that it furthers their own goals. If the mercenaries are well aware of the high wages the Republic is paying, they would not report anything that might slow the flow of credits into their accounts. Cover the truth by the Republic's actions and I'll pay you 500 credits. Careful here, kid. Start poking your nose in a place it doesn't belong and you might not like what you find. Please, see if you can find the answers I seek. Find why the Republic is hiring so many mercenaries. Find where they are going. Find why they do not return. I'll do it, but only for the money. Once you have the answers I seek, uh, I will gladly pay the 500 credits I promise. Well, that's a new quest coming in here. Viglo. Say, you must be new around here. My name is Viglo. You don't look like those Republic scum, and you aren't one of us Sith. It's what brings you to Manon. You drunk? Uh, I'm investigating the recent murder. I hope the Selkath fry that sunry for what he did. Alas, he was a real looker. And nobody kills a Sith and gets away with it. But I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just here to have a couple of drinks and try to unwind, you know? Uh, I'm searching for ancient ruins, or maybe if a long... Uh, or maybe a long-forgotten star map. You're some kind of historian? You should look to the future, not the past. That's why I joined the Sith. And then I get stuck on Manon. Worst post in the galaxy. It isn't easy here, you know. Not with all the Republic soldiers walking the streets while we sit and do nothing. Malak should send a fleet in and conquer the whole sector. Koto or no. But I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just here to have a couple of drinks and try to unwind, you know? All right, I'll be going now. Oh, uh, I get it. I get a little too forward and you want to hold it against me. Hey, I just thought of something. If I said you had a great body, would you hold it against me? <laughs> Barkeep, I sense I've offended my lady friend. Bring me another round so I can drown my sorrows in the sweet nectar of the Selkirth people. Well, uh, that's... You're a Dorian mercenary. That armor's badass. I am not for hire. Perhaps the Mandalorian or the Achani can help you. Though they lack the stomach for certain jobs. Uh, what do you have against the Achani or the Mandalorians? They lack the resolve to do what needs to be done. The Achani believe in a non-existent warrior code of honor, and the Mandalorians prize credits above bloodshed. But I am Iridorian. Honor comes from slaying your opponent, and the true reward of any job is the taste of your foe's dying blood on your tongue. I want to ask you some ask questions. Ask whatever you wish, though you may find some of my answers distasteful. Why is the Republic hiring so many mercenaries? Perhaps you should ask them. The Republic prefers not to deal with my kind, though maybe they need an Iridorian to finish the job. The mercenaries they hire must be failing, as they are never heard from again. That is all I know. Is there more you wish to ask? Do you know about the murder of Alasa? On my world, those too weak to defend themselves deserve to die. A murder is justified if you have the strength to kill your victim. Is there anything else?
else you would know. Uh, seeking an ancient star map or some alien ruins. Manan has no such things unless the Selkath have them hidden away at the bottom of the ocean. Is there more you would know? I'll be going now. Yes, I'm not surprised. There are few on this watery world who feel comfortable in my presence. He's got a pretty badass look there. How about you, Merc? For a while, the Republic were hiring anyone they could get. Okay, well, it's just not very useful there. Mandalorian mercenary. Sh Greetings, human. My name is Shaylus. I've uh, I've heard it said that you are no friend of the Sith. Is this true? My allegiances are my own business. You are wise to be so guarded, human, but my sources are really wrong. They have informed me that you are no friend of Malak's people. Though I suspect we have little in common, human, I share your dislike for the Sith. They have brought grief to my family. I'm not a fool. I know the Sith do not respect our laws as the Republic does. Word up to me, I would do everything in my power to aid the Republic in the war against Malak. But intergalactic politics stay my hand. Still, I know the Sith are evil, and I fear what they will do to my people, and that they must be, uh, that what, and what they may be doing now. What are you talking about? Many of the Selkath vanished, human. Most of those who have gone missing on the cusp of adulthood, the youth who will someday lead this planet, my own daughter Shasa, is among those who have disappeared. These disappearances coincide with the arrival of the Sith. I cannot dismiss the connection. The Sith are up to something, human. Something sinister. I can feel it. You want me to investigate these disappearances? We'll give you 500 credits if you can uncover the fate of my daughter and the other missing Selkath youth. Not much, but I, uh, all I can afford. I have, uh, I have no official authority in this matter, and my personal wealth is not vast. There's no one else to turn to when the Republic agents are too closely watched by the Sith, and the Auto City authorities cannot act without proof of Sith involvement. I shall look into these disappearances for you, Shalus. I cannot imagine where to begin the investigation, though I suspect the Sith did not act alone. Perhaps the Offworld or the Mercenary Enclave know something. If you learn anything, human, report back to me at once. If you uncover the fate of my daughter and the other missing Selkath youth, I'll reward you as promised. Duan? Look, lady, we Sith aren't here to make friends, so let me enjoy my drink in peace. Right, I'm assuming she would be hitting on me if I was a- We might have a position within the Sith organization for one such as you. Your offer is pretty good, but I've heard some nasty things about you, Sith. Is it true you bombed Taras into dust? This is war. In war, certain distasteful acts cannot be avoided. But ask yourself this, when we win the war, would you rather be against the Sith or with us? You make a good point. And I've never turned down a job that pays up front. Excellent. Report to the Sith Embassy tomorrow for your assignment. Yeah, hello. I have no desire to speak to you. I know you have links to the Republic. Well, damn. Are you hiring for the Republic or the Sith? Neither. Then why are you wasting my time? There's big money to be made here. I can't risk missing a job offer because I'm yapping with you. Well, well, well. How about you? If you're here to offer me a job, I'm not interested right now. I got so many offers, I can't keep up as it is. Maybe that Iridorian skull slagger at the bar, or the Achani nerf herder cowering in the corner are available. What do you have against the Achani and the Iridorians? Well, nothing. Except that the Achani are a bunch of fate dancers prancing in a battle with tiny weapons not fit for Mandalorian children. They hardly wear any armor because it slows them down when they run away. But the Chani are better than the Iridorians. Those savages keep hacking at fallen foe even after death, mutilating the corpse out of pure bloodlust. I even heard they'll turn on each other when the battle fever hits. Who wants to work with someone like that? I could pretty much name my price right now, especially since the Republic's so desperate for mercs all of a sudden. Why the Republic hiring so many mercenaries? They ain't saying, but the price is sure right. Of course, I haven't heard of anyone coming back, so I'm guessing the job ain't easy. Uh, do you know anything about the murder of uh, Alasa? Not really. They say some Republic war hero killed her. Maybe you should check out the Republic Embassy. Hmm. Do you know anything about young Selkath who've gone missing? Not really. I've got no interest in the Selkath, other than the fact that they're charging me an exorbitant amount to stay in this world. The Iridorian over there, however, he, I believe, may know more. He's been seen with several of them before. 
Interesting. So, Mr. Iridorian. I am not for hire. Perhaps the Mandalorian. Uh, I want to ask you some questions. Ask whatever you wish. Um, uh, nope. Have you heard anything about a uh, young Selkath going missing? Perhaps, but my business with the Selkath is my own. Maybe I'll just get you like a Selkath uh, preparing. Uh, let's see. Maybe I'll just gut you like a cell can preparing an Orchata Rave for lunch. You speak the blunt and brutal language of my people. We share the love of death and bloodshed, but we are a rare breed on this planet. Even the Sith here are as weak as the cowardly fish people. The Sith sought to buy my loyalty with credits, as if wealth could somehow quench my burning bloodlust. They would have been better off hiring an Achani for the errands they had me running. What were you doing for the Sith? The task paid well, but was boring, and beneath me. I was told to lure the Selkath youth to the Sith Embassy. Nothing more. I lied, I threatened, I promised, and I brought the most promising youth of the fish people to the Sith. And there I left them. To what purpose I neither know nor care. Perhaps when the Sith learn I have betrayed their secret, they will try to kill me. I would welcome the excitement. Sounds like the Sith are trying to win this planet by corrupting the Selkath youth. Much more subtle than their usual methods. Is there more you would ask of me, human? Well, I'll be going now. Yes, I'm not surprised. Interesting. We learned a bit more here. Yo, when you returned, have you information for me? Have you discovered the fate of the missing Selkath youth? Have you news of my daughter Shasa? Uh, I have information for you, Shalus. Excellent. You've done well. What have you learned? The Sith hired an Iridorian mercenary to lure Selkath youth to the Sith base. I see, this information is useful for a start, but as little explain the truth in the matter, we must know what purpose the Sith have for these youth. Are they prisoners of the Sith? Are they even still alive? I must know more, human! I must know what happened to my daughter! I will look into this further. I cannot officially ask you to enter the Sith base, human. That would be in violation of Auto City's strict neutrality laws. However, I fear such a brazen act may be the only way to learn the truth. But entering the base will not be easy, and should you be captured or killed, I will have to disavow any knowledge of your actions. I'll infiltrate the Sylph base, uh, Shalus. I wish I could be of more help, human. I will wait here. Return to me when you have something more to report. One thing I kind of wonder is that if I'm already wearing this thing that's- this head thing that's restricted to the light side, and I switch over to the dark side, what happens? That, that's my that, that simple simple question there. What happens? Selkath guard. That's the prison. You may come and go as you please, Ar Arbiter. You will find the door unlocked. If you wish to begin your trial, you must request it with the warden. It shall be passed on uh, to the judges. I don't wish to do that yet because I still haven't investigated the uh, the crime scene. <laughs> When I get out of here, you're dead! I'll gut your fishy little corpse, cut off your head, and bathe in your blood! Be quiet, off world of scum! Ah! Jolie, what are you doing here? The lore sent me, Sunley. I'm here to get you out of this mess. The courts went and made us arbiters for your case. Just like old times, eh, Jolie? You come swooping in out of nowhere to save my tail from the fire! You saved my wrinkle butt more than a few times as well, friend, if I recall. But there'll be time for catching up later. Right now, we need to focus on the case. The case is a complete frame-up. Anyone looking at the evidence could see that. Or so I thought. But the Soulcast seem to think that there's... Well, there's enough to go to trial. There aren't any witnesses. All that evidence against me is circumstantial and completely flawed. Let's go over the evidence. Well, I was at the hotel, I admit. And I did meet Alasa there that night, but it's not what you think. I, uh, I was working with Republic Intelligence. We were pretending to feed information to the Sith. Well, I turned Alasa into a double agent working for us. It was going well, too, until she turned up dead. Maybe the Sith had found out I was turning her and had her eliminated. But let's look at the facts they've given. Alasa was brutally killed. Think about that. She was a Sith, trained in battle, and I'm just a crippled old man. My war injuries make it difficult for me to walk, even to hold things. 
See how my hands are shaking? How could I kill a Sith warrior at close quarters? I ask you! Further, they say they found my heroes cross at the crime scene. Would I leave my war medal behind if I killed someone? Even I'm not that stupid. Obviously, the Sith planted the cross. And what about the lack of forensic evidence? Skin and hair samples, clothing fibers. Why isn't there anything like that at the crime scene? Sounds like an obvious frame-up to me. I hope you can see how the Sith are manipulating the Cellcat, and probably even you to set up this against me. We need to get this over with quickly and clear my name. Anything else I can help you with, I want my Arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. I might have to come back later for some of the other ideas. I need to investigate the case more. Any ideas where I should look? I guess you could interview witnesses at the hotel where the murder happened. The Cellcath already did that, but the fish folk don't have much rapport with offworlders. Maybe one of them was holding something back. But I think you'd be better off investigating the Sith themselves. Maybe you could find some proof they planted evidence to frame me. Though that might mean figuring out a way into the Sith Embassy. Anything else I can help you with? I want my Arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. Uh... There's a few things we have to clear up. Go ahead, ask. One of the judges said that you left after the shot was fired. How would they know? They weren't there. I heard some of the witnesses said that too, but I swear she was alive when I left. I wonder if the Sith have been putting pressure on people to get them to convict me. It wouldn't surprise me at all. They've had it in for me since the war. You should ask everyone about that. They might admit to helping the Sith under pressure. I'll, go I'll be going now. Very well. I suppose there is still much you must do before the trial. Once you've gotten enough evidence to go to trial, just tell the warden we're ready. The sooner I get out of the cell, the better. He sounds like Frank Welker. I'm pretty sure he is Frank Welker. Frank Welker being the original and current voice of, uh, of Fred and Scooby-Doo. Well, maybe not current. I don't know, is there is there currently a new Scooby-Doo series going on right now? He's pretty much played Fred in almost every iteration of Scooby-Doo. No, that's right, in the Scoob movie, they, they brought in, an, an, like, an entirely new cast for it. Much to the chagrin of some hardcore Scooby-Doo fans. They, they exist. Oh, what do we got here? Your precious Republic's days are numbered. It won't be long until Malak turns his armada loose on Coruscant itself. Save your empty threats, Sith scum. Malak isn't stupid enough to attack the Core Worlds. Now with the entire Republic fleet waiting for him. You're a fool. Send on Coruscant, our numbers will block out the sun itself. The galactic senators will collapse trembling in fear and beg for mercy at Malak's feet. You underestimate the Republic's resolve. We'll die before we surrender Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened to Taris. Malak could do the same to the core worlds. He wouldn't dare. Now it is you who underestimate our resolve. It's just a bunch of Bunch of, bunch of you arguing with nothing really happening. Hollis. A human! There are cell cats everywhere, but you chose to speak with me? Am I so different? Do you think I have answers that others do not? It's a rather strange greeting. These are strange times. The Sith and the Republic battled to control the galaxy, but their wars destroys uh, what they both seek to possess. The war sows fear and confusion. P uh, people are lost. They want guidance, direction. They have questions and they want answers. That is why I'm here to seek answers. I too seek answers. Answers to what? The Sith, the Republic, the war, everything. Nothing. Answers are always hardest to find when the questions are unclear. Yet that does not stop us from searching. Who are you? A name? There is a power in names. Yet uh, in the end, a name alone means less than nothing. I am Hullus, a traveler from the world of Doro. Uh, and what is your name, human? My name is Rindotakian. Rindotakian! Now we know something about each other, but really, we still know nothing. What do you want with me, human? I want to ask some questions. I will do my best to answer them, though I am only recently arrived in this world. Many of your questions will be better answered by others, I'm sure. Uh... What are you doing here on Manon? 
I am an observer, a seeker of answers. The Sith and the Republic vie for control of the galaxy, and I am anxious to know as much as I can about the uh, the eventual victor. I'm an and can observe both parties in relative safety. The Sith and the Republic coexist here unlike anywhere else in the galaxy. Here I watch and study and learn. You're a spy. No, a spy is a stealer of hidden secrets. A spy slinks in the shadows to gain entrance to forbidden rooms. I am only a simple observer. I watch the Sith on this world. I watch the Republic. I watch the Cellcap. I see how they act and react, and I can draw conclusions about their true natures. I see what drives them. And when an ultimate victor emerges from the war, I will know them better than they know themselves. This will give me power. The power to survive and thrive no matter what events may come. So that's all you do? Sit and watch? Sit, watch, study, learn, wait. For now, that is all. I gather knowledge and I wait for the day when this knowledge will serve me well. I'll be going now. And so you leave. Perhaps to return. Perhaps not. Yet I will remain here for my work is not done. I like him. Shady Rodian. Why do you bother me, human? I do not wish to speak to you. Why are you standing here in a corner? I'm here for my own reasons. Those who know of me and wish to do business know I can be found here. You will either do business with me or leave. Business? I s trade and sell Pizak cards for those who have interest. And you, have, if you have interest, then we can do business. Otherwise, leave. Let's see what you got. The rarest of Pizak cards. The plus or minus one. I'll buy that. I'll buy that. I'll buy this. I'll buy that. Why not? I need. I, I'm gonna be making a bunch of money with Pizak anyway, so we'll see how it goes. The East Courtyard. We don't want to go there quite yet. There's still more of this area to, to explore. This city is so big. I think it's divided into, if you count the loading bay, five sectors. Cellcath, Cellcath, Cleaning Droid. I haven't even found a shop on here. So nuts this place is. The Republic Embassy, as well as a bog standard door. Aha, the hotel! Finally, we're getting somewhere as soon as I discover this part of the map. Oh, 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 there we go. All right, let's begin our investigation into the hotel. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Hello, Ignis. You are the one defending Sunry now, huh? Well, the hotel's open for you. And I guess I gotta answer any questions you want, too. Uh, tell me what you saw the night of the murder. The Sith woman, Alasa, rented a room in the hotel. An hour or two later, Sunri comes in and goes to her room. A couple hours later, I hear a blaster shot and see Sunri running. He can't run good because he's a cripple, but he still was going pretty fast. I would swear he started after the shot, though. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure he left after the shot went off. Could have gone off after he left? No, I don't think so. I mean, it's possible, just barely, but I wouldn't say that to the court. You could testify it happened after he left. Uh, what else? What do else? you want to know? Uh, what do you know about Sunray and Elasa? Elasa used to rent rooms here every week or so. Then Sunray would come by a couple hours later and stay all night. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what was going on. Uh. Who are all the witnesses in the hotel? There were only two other people in the hotel when it happened. One was a Rodian named Glupor. Seems like a really dirty, shifty type. Normally, I don't let his kind in here. I'm a reputable businessman, you know. But there weren't many people here, so I decided to take a chance. The other is a regular named Feareth Me. He's a Pazak player. Probably an addict, but he claims he's big in some circles. Don't know anything about him other than that. Anything else you want to know? Uh, I have no more questions for now. Well, okay. If you need anything else, I'm gonna be right here. Not really in the mood to try to bribe and persuade people to to falsify their testimony. Hello, Firith. You with the Cellcath? You here to see me about the murder, too? I told the damn fish everything I knew. What more do you all want from me? What do you know about Sunray and Alasa? Sunri, I only heard of once or twice in passing. Some sort of old-time war hero against the Sith. Seen him around in the hotel, too. Going to Alas's room always, of course. Kept the rest of the building up half the night with their damn antics, usually. You mean Sunri was having a relationship with Alasa? 
I'm not saying anything like that. What they did in that room, in private, is their business. And there isn't any rule against Sith and Republic seeing each other for personal reasons. Although if you think her Sith Master didn't know, you must be fooling yourself. Sith Master? Ah, uh, well, Elasa was a Sith, so of course she'd have to have someone above her. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything. What did you see? Well, one time, I saw Elasa coming in wearing this big cloak. I was on my way to my room, and she normally wears stuff like that, so I didn't pay her too much attention. But this time, I accidentally brushed up against her. Accidentally, of course. And her cloak fell open. Now, I don't have any qualms about the Sith. I leave them alone, and they leave me alone. And seeing as how Elasa had a Sith lightsaber under her cloak, I'm not going to poke that hornet's nest. Interesting. She was a dark Jedi. Seems so. But I'm not getting myself in any further with the Sith. I know how ruthless they are. Now, that's all I'm going to tell you. I'll testify to the court, but you aren't going to get anything else out of me. Hmm. Very interesting. And a hundred credits in your footlocker. I'll be taking this. No need to call the police. Just know that it is now mine. For goodness sake. Uh, anywhere else? Hmm? Uh, hello? Ah, Glupor. You here with Selkath? You have questions for Glupor? Glupor already say everything he knows. I have questions about the murder of Alasa. Glupor tell everything to Selkath. You not know? Glupor have no reason to say. Glupor tell everything. Everything about murder. Everything about Sith Lady's room. Uh, why were you at the hotel? Glupor staying at hotel. Glupor not very rich. Hotel much too rich for Glupor to live at. But Glupor saved for weeks and have enough to stay here for a few days. Using Glupor's chance to live better uh, for a while. What did you see? Glooper not see murder. Oh no, Glooper did see a Republic guy, the cripple. Sunry his name, Glooper thinks. Glooper see Sunry running away from cri scene of crime. Glooper see nothing else, nothing else at all, especially not in Sith Lady's room. What about Alasa's room? Glooper just curious, just curious to see what had happened. Glooper have no reason to go into room. No one paid Glooper to do it. Did someone pay you to, uh, to do something in that room, Glooper? No, you know someone paid Glooper! Well, Sith Ben came up to Glooper after murder, before Selkath arrived. He said he'd give Glooper good money and put. Glo uh, if. Um, Glooper put metal in Sith head! Glooper good, Glooper planned evidence and leave no trace. But Glooper not recognize Sith Ben anyway. Uh, Glooper not recognize humans very well. No use to Selkath, so not bother to tell them. Well, that and the Sith Man say he killed Glooper if Glooper speaks. Uh. Oh no. Glooper think, Glooper think he can't talk anymore right now. Glooper feels he need to lie down. Maybe just stay here. All right, so we know that Glooper planted evidence of uh, of his uh, of his Medal of Honor, pretty much on uh, on the body. On it. Done. All right, I need to investigate. This is the crime scene, methinks, or maybe not. I thought this might have been the crime scene. I think this room is the crime scene, but I can't actually go in there. Okay, so we know that the woman was a dark Jedi. All right, well let me. You were the one defending Sun. Well, let's see. The Sith, he can't run good because he's a cripple. Could have gone off after he left? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna persuade him to uh, to to do that. I've already. I've got enough substantial evidence already. The woman was a dark Jedi. So even if he did do it, who Jedi? I hear you are investigating the Sunry murder trial. Are you? This case is not at all what it appears to be. The many currents, might I say, flow beneath the surface. What do you mean? This murder is much more complicated than it may first appear. The Sunri and Elasa are proxies for their governments, and both sides want the other to fail. You can see the journey uh, by the footprints. You understand, yes? Huh? I'm saying they both had something to do with it. They've both kept their hands in this from the start. If you want to get to the bottom of this murder, you 
might seek information from both the Sith and the Republic, likely in their embassies. They just give it to me? No, 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 of course not. You think state secrets are for sale on the common market? You would have to be mm -hmm, devious to get what you want. Heed my advice, Jedi, and you may yet find the truths in this murder. Mysterious man. Well, let's head to, Re to the Republic Embassy now and see what we can dig up there. If anything. Hello, Roland Wan. Welcome to Manan. I'm Roland Wan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. Why are soldiers loading so much Kalto? Kalto is a precious resource. Its healing powers are near miraculous. During times of war, Kalto becomes even more valuable. As long as we have the permits, we will continue to harvest Kalto and ship it to our Republic soldiers battling against the Sith. Of course, the Sith enjoy the very same privileges. If there was some way we could gain an edge over the Sith in our Kalto supply, but the Selkath are fiercely protective of their neutrality in this conflict. They do not want to grant either side an advantage. Uh... I'm investigating the Sunry case. I don't know much about the facts of the case, but I find it hard to believe. I never met Sunry, but he's a hero of the Republic, not a murderer. The so-called evidence against him is an obvious frame-up. It has to be. The Sith must have plotted Sunry's downfall to embarrass and discredit the Republic. Are you so sure it was the Sith? Who else? Sunry's conviction will be a blow to Republic Selkath relations. Who would benefit from this other than the Sith? If you want to solve this mess, I would focus on the Sith. That or check out the murder scene at the hotel. Talk to the other guests. Maybe they know something. I regret I could not be of more assistance in your investigation. Is there anything else? Uh, I'm on a mission from the Jedi Council. Perhaps you could help me. Oh, of course. Of course I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. His eyelids are really weirdly colored. I seek a star map, the remnant of an ancient and forgotten race. An ancient and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manan? Hmm. You know something? Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first. Come on, tell me! No, no. You do what I want and maybe I can help you out. Until then, nothing. What do you want me to do? We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was... damaged. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven off by the Firaxan sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined, and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. Where is the droid? It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manan. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base and retrieving it. That is what we would ask you to do. How, how do I get into the Sith base? There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you, although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. Interrogating the prisoner sounds good. What are the, what are the other ways? We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. Is there another way? The Sith have got the Siltcalf to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want, as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? 
Uh, I'm gonna interrogate the prisoner. Good call. Just make sure you don't push him too hard or we might lose him. I wish you luck in your task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me, and we can see about getting you that information. All right, well, we received some items. I think we're gonna go take a look at that that uh, loading bay anyway. But for now, next time on Star Wars: Night Shield Republic, we're gonna interrogate a prisoner, continue working on that murder, and uh, do a variety of other things around here, around uh, Manan. Um, this is a this is a very red tape heavy. Uh, hi, Jolie. Red tape heavy area in the game. So I'll see y'all next time. Later. <laughs>